Hey everybody, it's Brigzil here, and this is Battlefield 4. Now, this video is purely a first impressions. I'll also state that this game isn't really particularly very good on my computer, so that's why it's a little bit laggy. I think that's due to the game itself, but also to do with my computer. Now, I've updated my drivers, and you can only do so much. Now, to begin with, this video is pretty poor. Uh, the frame rate's not particularly great. I mean, it's still locked at 30 frames because that's what you, I record at. But um, when actually playing it, it was, it was rather laggy. Um, they felt like there was quite a little, a bit of latency from the server itself, even though the server was um, a local server. Like I think it was about 30 or 40 ping. Um, and this version of Battlefield 4, this, the map or the uh, the game type we're playing at the moment, is technically called Domination. Now this is, I think it's one of the new game types for Battlefield 4, uh, and is very similar to the Call of Duty uh, domination, where you sit on a little location and you, you take it, and it's quite a quick um, capture, whereas in Conquest, it's quite a long capture. Now, my first impressions of this game are quite simple. I'm not enjoying it as much as I enjoyed the Battlefield 3 beta. That's there's no doubt about that. I am not enjoying it as much as the Battlefield 4, uh, Battlefield 3 beta when that came out a couple of years back. But I'm st I'm not hating it, if you understand what I mean. I mean, the game looks pretty good. It plays half decently, and I, that's probably a mixture of the two, the fact that it's a new game and not a machine. Um, I'm sure there'll be patches and, and all that kind of stuff over the next day or so, just to make sure that all the light light bugs are taken away. I haven't encountered any like game breaking bugs at the moment, so that's a good thing, obviously. Um, I'm still a little confused about certain aspects of this game. Um, the kind of stat system is is fairly similar to Battlefield 3. Uh, you now have um, weapon. Instead of just um, weapon unlocks, you also have the um, the weapon kind of rank as well, which unlocks. Instead of unlocking via your assault tab, as it were, you're unlocking via the weapon. So the more you use uh, an assault rifle, for instance, the you'll unlock the other assault rifles. Instead of through the assault tab, where I think in the assault tab you you un um, unlock certain other things. Uh, like uh, the 203 for instance or the whatever it's called I'll, sh I'll show you it later on in the video I don't use it very well but I'll show you nonetheless now what I will add is that the weapons themselves look pretty decent I mean you still got the same functions as the Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 2 and that's obviously with, with the medics uh, the assault system gives you the defibrillators or the medic packs you can choose which ones you want Engineer, obviously you have repair tool and uh, anti-tank and mines and such later on in the game obviously beta doesn't include all that sort of stuff but it does include most of it um, being support class i.e. having an MG or, or a light um, support weapon of, of descriptions you will um, obviously be in a support role where you give ammunition and obviously there is the recon mode which I haven't really played with at all because this version of the map is a smaller version of the Conquest map, which is uh, massive. It's got 64 people. It pretty much the whole. At this point, we're only fighting on one side of the map. When it when it's 64 player Conquest mode, you're kind of fighting the whole in the whole um, kind of the whole map, the whole city. What I will say is though, is when when you can sit and when you can look at people and when you can shoot at them accurately. You seem to be able to hit them and kill them in two or three shots, which is pretty good. I mean, you've just seen then that I've did a pretty decent amount of damage to that person just with using two or three shots. Um, like that, for instance, obviously it says that I headshotted, but I obviously was just shooting in the bushes, but whatever. The point system is pretty much exactly the same as Battlefield 3. Um, obviously they've added a couple of bits and pieces. What I have noticed is there is kind of a lean right system behind cover, which I can't really um, show you. It kind of just kind of it kind of just locks on and it tells you when you're stood next to a 
a piece of cover and it just kind of does it. Um, kind of move right and move left and it kind of it's a bit similar to the Red Orchestra 2 kind of um, cover system except that you don't necessarily press a button to lock onto the cover it kind of automatically does that bit which is obviously why it probably is not working fully at the moment I'm sure that's something that they will work on over the next month or so because I think obviously the game is going to be released in a month's time the 1st of November I believe but um, what else can I tell you? Well, what they've added is the deploy system. It'll come up now. You can literally you've got a little camera in the corner that shows you the uh, the person the person you're kind of deploying on away or deploying. Um, it's very interesting kind of system. It, it kind of gives you an idea if you're running into danger or not. It's pr pretty good. Um, I think my main gripe at the moment is performance based, but that's because I'm. I like to have a game that's going to run quite well, whereas at the moment it seems to be running not particularly good. I'm, I mean, I updated my drivers and it's playing worse now that I've updated my drivers, so I may roll back. Or I may, you know, we'll see. Anyway, what I'll do is I'll leave you with the rest of this video. Uh, you can see the little bits and pieces of it. I hope you've uh, enjoyed this kind of first impressions. To, to finish this kind of impression video off, I will say this. It's obviously going to get better. It's obviously a beta. Obviously, this is. I'm saying obviously too many times, but who gives a fuck? This game, in the on its basic level, is good. There's no doubt about the, that level of decentness because obviously they've got Battlefield 3 to work with. They've probably used a lot of the functions and a lot of the the way the game works, and um, that's the way it is. So anyway, I like it. I'm not too sure about it just yet in terms of being a game that I'm going to play loads of, but we'll find out sooner or later. Now here's the cover system here, just in case you're wondering. I kind of just lean, lean in a bit and get killed, but I'll, I'll leave a little bit. You see how it works. You kind of be up next to a wall and it does it. Anyway, leave you the rest of the video. I hope you enjoy it. See you soon. Thank you. 